Hey everybody and welcome to Department Spotlight, where we talk to our colleagues and friends about the South African film industry and just the film industry in general. So today we are covering directing and since me and Mark were the only two directors on this project, um, it's just us today. So sorry, no, no guest speakers um, or whatever, but I, I think we'll, we can cover some cool things. So yeah, I think let's just jump into it uh, directing. Uh, you know, you guys might, might not know, I I did the full three years at AFTA um, Film School as a sound guy and a visual effects guy. Um, so I was more like post-production in undergrad, but then in third year, two of the directors um, dropped out of the project that I was involved in. So um, it was I, so I like jumped on board as like a co-director with like either cinematographer or like the editor or whatever. Um, and that's really where my love for directing comes from. And then in honors, I sw swapped over to directing and writing. Um, and then I made like my first like proper short film. Um, I don't count the other two that I did before this. <laughs> but on surface tension, right? I made the like conscious choice to not do the shot list, which is something that I've never done, right? Always, I always have a shot list. But when I was like, I think first year, when we were first year. Yeah. Sean Bobbitt, who's the DOP of 12 Years a Slave, came to AFTA to do like a, a talk, which I thought was just the coolest thing, you know? And uh, people were asking a bunch of questions after, after his talk, and then he, he said, or somebody asked, um, how in detail do you go with shot list or whatever, right? And he's like, who shot lists? <laughs> he's like, with Steve McQueen, they just show up on the day, they look at the, at the location, and they, the side and they shoot and I mean if it works for 12 years a slave wow <laughs> you know um so but I've never done it and that was first year but I was like no no that's that's not gonna work and um so I, I made the conscious decision on surface tension to not shot list because I wanted to see how it works right and uh it also helped that it was not this shooting and I've known of this since literally first day of orientation at after um, and we, we we stayed pretty close, so we were hanging out a lot. So I knew he was a really good DOP. So I, I thought like if there's ever a time that I'm going to try it, even though I've never worked with him as the director, I've worked with him as the sound guy or whatever, but I've never worked with him as the director and the DOP. I was like, if I'm going to try this, it's going to be with Nardis, <laughs> right? Shout out Nardis. But, um, but it, and it just worked so well, you know? Um, it also helped that we had like a day and a half shoot, so it was a bit more flexible. So we had like a bit more time to figure things out. But yeah, it, I mean, we basically ended up doing what I had in my mind anyway, mm -hmm. but without all of the stress of writing it down and like having to cross it off and checking, okay, do I have all the shots, you know? Instead, I was like thinking about the story, do I, did I c c cover all the beats, you know? So, there were a lot more decisions to be made on that day, but I think having uh, having the DOP be somebody that you trust, and I mean, you trust obviously all your crew, but doing that just felt liberating because you sort of give off a little bit of the, not the responsibility, but of the pressure. You know, you're like, okay, what do you think that is? Where should we shoot it from? What do you want to do? And and yeah, I think it worked out. I'm editing it right now and it looks amazing. I think I have to I come from the opposite side. I don't think I can ever not shot list. <laughs> I just always have to shot list. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, it's. I think it's different on like, like on surface tension, you had like, a, you still had a very clear idea of like, how you wanted it to 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 be shot, and because you obviously you co-wrote it as well, and mm. obviously seeing it as we're like writing it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it it that also comes from like your like closeness to it. You know what I mean? Because I think you can also like figure out a lot of things by shot listing, um, and also for me having a shot list is like just arriving with a plan mm -hmm. and then 
not like I mean you still had a plan for service tension, you know mm. what I mean? Um but like having a plan and then having the freedom to like deviate f- from that plan to k- have a better plan. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Um yeah, like you're not going to like obviously stick always 100% to a shot list cuz it's going to be different to like what the location is or a million different things but there's always like a plan to improve upon mm. versus you know so mm. i think there's like pros and cons um obviously with certain maybe if you don't like shot list the whole thing but there's like a sequence that you need to figure out or something mm. even if you specifically didn't necessarily bring a shot list to set you still got a shot list in your brain like Mm. Don't arrive with no plan. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. what are you doing? But like Nada said, like yeah. figured out all the lighting, for yeah, everything yeah, ready. Yeah. Yeah. You had like figured out which order we were gonna shoot it and stuff mm. like that. <clears throat> but basically, I think there's two approaches. But I think the fundamental that we can both agree upon is like you have to have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because otherwise, it's just yeah, yeah, waste of time. Eventually, people are gonna call it, catch on if you're just like, what do you think? Yeah, the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> Imagine. Um, do you think we should cut? <laughs> Sean Bobbitt and Steve McQueen, like... Yeah, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> and also, like, you know Steve McQueen has got the whole thing, sh- yeah. like, shot listed in his head. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, all he's doing is recording exactly what he's seeing in his brain. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That talk from Sean Bobbitt really motivated me a lot. Really? Oh, dude. No, I didn't see him. Dude. After really, after I used to do this thing every year where they just bring somebody. Um, the next year they had the DOP from Star Wars, uh, oh, yeah. Force Awakens. I hate that guy. <laughs> but um, why? What did he say? He said, so, so he, he was supposed to do a, a, a talk, like everybody does. He just arrived and he's like, okay, so how I like to do this is just ask questions and I'll answer them. And I'm like. Just tell us something first so we know what to ask questions about. Yeah. Nope. So it was really slow starting to ask questions. And then eventually somebody asked him, how do you choose your projects? Because it's kind of weird. He goes from like Zoolander to, or from Star Wars to like Zoolander 2 or whatever. And they they asked him like, how do you choose your projects? And he said, money. (laughs) No jokes. That was his answer. And then he just sort of tried to justify it by saying like, you got to decide what kind of way you want to live in life and then how are you going to afford that. Okay. And, um, yeah, it so just, just put me... Star Wars because of money? Probably. I don't know. I mean, he went from Star Wars to Zoolander too. <laughs> That's such a strange attitude. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was very disappointed by him. I'm not going to mention his name, but you can Google it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, Sean Bobbitt in first year, he, that was, I think that was, if I only got that one talk from first year, whole year would have been worth it. I think that's how good it was. All right, cool. Yeah. So I think let's wrap it up there. Thank you, Mark, for this conversation. Thank you. Thank you, everybody out there for listening. Go and check out all the previous uh, podcasts. It's over on the YouTube channel and also on all of your podcast sites, Spotify, whatever. So all of the shirts that we're wearing in the show are our shirts from from our films and from the production company and like Luke Pictures and whatever. If you are if you are interested in buying any of them, uh, let us know. We can like maybe set up a store and sell them, send them. Merch. Um, merch. Merch. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let us know if you, if that's something you'd be interested in and, uh, we'll let you know if there's enough interest, we'll, we'll set it up. Okay. So then until the next one, go and make Make your your movie. movie. And buy merch. Support the channel. Do the Patreon. Do you think we're going to have a Patreon? I don't know, but let's keep this in. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Bye.